talk about uh, huge people in the custom car industry. This is the man, Dave Kindig, is joining us this morning. Bitch and Rides has been on television for 10 years now. Yeah, actually, we're filming season 10 right now and having so much fun doing it. So, you know, this is a... Uh, it's just cool to find out that everything you do, a lot of people appreciate it, and to be able to be out here, uh, great weather now, especially this week, and have everybody enjoying the car show and also our cars. It's uh, it's fun. And you it's enjoy great. your lifestyle because you get access to some amazing cars you're, you, uh, that you're working on that you get to you know kind of test out. Tell us about what we are seeing right here. This is absolutely you gorgeous. You bet. So this is uh, one of my production vehicles. This is a full carbon fiber 1953 Corvette uh, replica, basically. And it is chopped, sectioned, and channeled. And something that's really unique about this car is the original Corvette was uh, born in 1953. Right. This one is such an iconic car, but what we wanted to do is actually make a modern twist of it. So it's been chopped, sectioned, channeled. Uh, you can actually put uh, a six foot eight, 250 really? pound guy in this car. <laughs> okay. the, the original Corvettes, you were lucky to get in there at five foot six. I You're mean, really, kidding. they were quite tight. So this is cool because I've been able to stretch the doors, chop the windshield, sink the seats down in there. The car weighs 3,000 pounds and it's 650 plus horsepower Ooh, to the rear wheel. Wow. That is amazing. You've made, what, 10 of these? So this is actually number eight, and this is actually a licensed special edition Barrett-Jackson edition, and this is going to be sold on Super Saturday here. Uh, I am actually taking orders on the cars, which has been a lot of fun to build these things. They're so much fun to, you know, it's a show car, but really it is a true yeah. driver. First of all, and like the anthropological thing of like, why are people so much bigger now than they were back then? It's kind of weird, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't really have the scientific reasoning for that, but I'll tell you what, it is certainly true. It's it's so funny. I think maybe all of the tall guys uh, were driving farm trucks, I guess, maybe. Uh, yeah, maybe, right? What are your favorite kind of cars uh. to customize? Anything with four wheels and a steering wheel. Actually. There you go. I love that. I if love somebody, that. Especially if someone's willing to pay for it, right? I, well, I'll tell you what. I mean, obviously, it takes money to, to get creative, and I don't focus on that. I focus on the art. And I always say that every, any car has the possibility of being the coolest car you're going to see that day. just depends on what you do with it. You know, you talk about the art. I look at this car, and I don't know why, but that windshield, just it just catches uh. my eye. There's something about that windshield that's so cool. So every piece of this car is actually fabricated. It is one off. There's literally the glove box door is really one of the only things things that goes on an original 53 Corvette. Everything else has been sandcasted. We've designed everything. It's chopped down, uh, laid back. It's just got a really cool, nice look. And of course, it's all modern suspension. This is all C7 Corvette That's suspension. amazing. How much time went into this? You're roughly about 3,000 hours on one of these builds right here, mm -hmm. which is actually about half as much as what it typically costs to do one of our, like our Camaro or a full custom truck. Mm -hmm. I mean, those just take thousands of hours of detail and metal shaping, engineering the, all of the systems, and of course doing the body work and the paint work and polishing and upholstery. I mean, there's so much involved, and we do everything actually in one place. Wow. At what point in your life did you think, I want to I want to be in the car industry and make cool cars? Oh, well, that started very young. I was about five years old. Uh, Legos, Hot Wheels, yeah. drawing cars, <laughs> moved into plastic models later on, got my uh, hands dirty, taking my mom's lawnmower apart, <laughs> working on my bicycles, you know I mean? So, yeah, I was just very much, you know, self-taught the whole time. And, you know, figure it out. That is so cool. It, it's always just great to meet somebody who gets to truly live their dream. I mean, you're basically never working a day in your life, right? Uh, if you ask my right hand man, Kev Dog, he'd say I haven't worked since I started my business. <laughs> <laughs> and he does all thing, of it, right? Yeah, he does, yeah. He's a great guy. You got some great chin music there. Well, thank you very much. You know, and it's funny, somebody said the other day, he says, Oh, you're getting gray. I said, No, old guys go gray, cool guys get chrome. Ooh. I like that. I <laughs> like that. that. On that fantastic. note, that's the level of cool you're going to encounter out here at Bear Jackson at Westworld. I mean, you don't find that everywhere, right? <laughs> that's a fact. Seriously. So Saturday night, bring your cash because it's going to go for a big number. I see some chrome. I think I will. Oh, okay, thank you. I, oh, I, have, I have one chrome that I, I, I found in the back of my head once. 